Hello, welcome to another one. Today we have another fur bear profile in which we will introduce an animal that can be trapped and talked about their general description, reproduction, diet, and typical ways to trap. Before we continue, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Every like and sub helps us out and makes it possible for us to make more videos for you guys. Today's video is about Neo Vison Vison or the American mink. The American mink is a semi-aquatic species native to North America. Though human intervention has expanded its range to many parts of Europe, Asia, and South America. The American mink is a carnivore that feeds on rodents, fish, crustaceans, frogs, and birds. In its introduced range in Europe, it has been classified as an invasive species, linked to declines in European mink, Pyrenean desmond, and water vole populations. It is the animal most frequently farmed for its fur. The mink is a versatile predator. Lithe and agile, it pursues its prey on land and in water. It can swim and dive with ease and remain underwater for many minutes. Mink are small brown predators with small rounded ears, a white or yellow bib on its chest, and whitish belly. The legs of a mink are short, but its body is long. Its fur is highly prized for coats and jackets. Mink pelts are soft, thick, and silky, mixed with long, glossy guard hairs. Adults are 14 to 20 inches long, including a 5 to 9 inch tail, and weigh 2 to 4 pounds. Mink nest in hollow logs or stumps near water, or in bank dens dug by muskrats. Litters average 5 or 6 young. They are usually born in late spring, six weeks after mating. Mink weigh about one-fifth of an ounce at birth, but, by maturity, are one to four pounds. Mink eat just about any type of animal that lives in and near water, including fish, frogs, ducks, crayfish, eggs, lizards, grubs, earthworms, mice, and muskrats. Except for otters, Mink have few natural predators, however, they often die from parasites and diseases. The mink's natural range encompasses most of North America, from Alaska through Canada and further into the United States, except Arizona and the more arid areas of California, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and West Texas. Wherever there is water, there are likely wild mink. However, some chemically polluted waters contain mercury, or PCBs, somehow sterilize mink, so that they cannot reproduce. They are nocturnal and rarely seen. In winter, however, their tracks are often encountered on frozen marshes, where mink travel from one muskrat house to another while hunting. Trapping tactics for mink include obstruction or blind sets, spring sets, pocket sets, and channel sets. Recommended traps or trapping systems are number 120 or similar double spring body gripping trap. Do not use a 110 or other single spring body gripping trap for mink in non-drowning sets because they are not strong enough to kill mink effectively. Foothold traps including number 11 double long spring, number 1 or number 1.5 coil spring, Number one and a half jump or long spring with a drowning slide locks also work. Lures and baits for mink include commercial lures, fish oil, and fresh muskrat or fish bait. Here are a few interesting facts about the American mink. One can look for mink tracks along stream banks, especially where there are small holes in the banks. Mink often leave their droppings on rocks and logs at the stream edge and sometimes even on boat and fishing docks. Mink, raised on farms, primarily eat expired cheese, eggs, fish, meat and poultry slaughterhouse byproducts, dog food, and turkey livers, as well as prepared commercial foods. A farm with 3,000 mink may use as much as two tons of food per day. Mink are very territorial animals. A male mink will not tolerate another male within its territory, but appears to be less aggressive towards females. 
Generally, the territories of both male and female animals are separate, but a female's territory may sometimes overlap with that of a male. Very occasionally, it may be totally within a male's territory. The territories, which tend to be long and narrow, stretch along riverbanks or around the edges of lakes and marshes. Territory sizes vary, but they can be several miles long. Female territories are typically smaller than those of males. Thanks for watching this video by Outdoor Experiences. If you want to see more videos like these, please comment the next fur bear you would like to see, and then like and subscribe. Feel free to comment any questions as well, and we will respond as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.